Hi you all, uh, welcome back. Episode 2, um, Maidstone United and Tier 6. Going to try and progress as far as we can get, even if possible, up as far as the Premier League. Before we get into the uh, the highlights, the first, obviously still in pre-season friendlies, we've got Seven Oaks Town away at Greatness Park. Before we get into that, let's have a look here at... Um, Sam Corn been playing him like midfield centre out on the left, just just ahead of Camjo. Did give him an offer there, for a, a renewal contract renewal, and he's turned it down. So he was out of contract. He doesn't want to know. He, he's we're looking here. We're going to contracts. If we get in there. He's actually turned it down. So if I go in to like offer him a new contract, he's got up on the side there, not currently pre prepared to restart these discussions following the previous breakdown in talks. So 23 years old, he's not long been in at Maidstone. He came in from Ashford United in Kent. He doesn't want to renew talks, so we gave him the offer that he apparently asked for, but he came back and refused. He doesn't want to continue with any more talk, so it's kind of looking that we're going to lose Sam Corn. Um, I don't know what you folks think about it. Um, let me know down below and whether we what, a kind of a good replacement we can find for him. But he looks as though he wants to move on, but we will try and re-offer him another contract just to see what he comes up with. But if he goes in the meantime, then he goes. There's not a lot we can do about it to try and keep hold of him. Yeah, the previous episode we had the 1-1 one, one draw away at Allfold in the pre-season friendly, the first one and down. Then we had the 3-0 away win at um, Chatham Town. Then coming up in a moment, we got the highlights of the uh, away game at Seven Oaks Town in the friendly, um, Greatness Park. We had 336 people attending that game. There were 206 away Maidstone supporters. We had a line-up there, Chris Lewinson, Gavin Hoyt, Lewis Knight, George Yellacobi, Noah Chesmain, Ify Allen, George Wilson, Zinnia Tomelshi, Dan Wishart, Clovis Camjo, and the striker up the front there was Lewis McNall. So Ryan Johnson, Justin Amaluza, Ibi Akambi and Ross Marshall. So yeah, we'll get into this pre-season friendly and uh, we'll catch up on the highlights for it. So yeah, they're kicking off in the first half. Had Zinnia Tomelshi there, um, got tackled and obviously lost it to Seven Oaks Town, who are in the black and blue stripes. With um, De Silva now obviously attacking up. 35 minutes in, we had obviously Dan Wishart taking a corner for Maidstone, taking a great header with it being saved there, and uh, Seven Oaks managing to clear it. So De Silva up that left wing again, obviously up to Taylor getting the crossover and then King there just getting the shot just over the top of the crossbar for Seven Oaks Town. And then that was nil nil half time. We're just kicking off the second half with uh, Seven Oaks on the attack and then giving it away to Noah Chesmain. It's a free kick then for Seven Oaks, getting it crossed in and oh the shot just going wide there from King for Seven Oaks. With it being classed as offside. Maystone had a throw obviously in their own half and then trying to get the ball upfield, give passing it back to Chris Lewington and then he oops it up the field halfway straight to a Seven Oaks player, which wasn't too impressive. And then Seven Oaks are kind of getting into it and then Maidstone break away with Ify Allen going up the right wing. Yeah, so that was obviously a draw the first game and um, the 3 0 win away at Chatham. And then this is obviously the third of several pre season friendlies we have coming up before we get into the kick off of the season against Bath City. So we've just come up to full time, still 0 0. De Silva there with Seven Oaks Town up in the Maidstone penalty areas. And there's a great shot there from Seven Oaks just shooting straight at Chris Lewington. He manages to save it. It could have been like 1-0 Seven Oaks then right at the end of the game. And they, they're still pushing forward with a corner. 
Had the silver in there again and made some managing to clear it away. Nothing too much to get excited about there really. Probably should have should have won this game really in a way, but it just haven't seemed the players just haven't seemed on it. So we're like a minute and a quarter now into the added time at the end of the second half. Seven Oaks just getting into the Maidstone half, having most of the ball actually, really. And Maidstone seemed to be like constantly trying to get rid of the ball. Right now, with George Wilson and then um, Ryan Johnson getting it out over to the right wing for Lewis McNoll. They just, just don't really seem to know what they want to do with the ball. And obviously, that's, that's how the game finished up. It ended up nil nil, wasn't great. But um, that was the way it went. So moving on, we had the Thursday evening game um, at Salters Lane away at Faversham, Faversham Town. 294 attendants there with 161 away supporters. I had a few changes in the game now. So yeah, we'll catch up and we'll get into the uh, highlights of this one. Faversham Town away. So obviously rainy evening, Faversham in their black shorts, white tops, most of them playing in their mauve kit. And um, Faversham seem to have majority of the ball obviously at the beginning of the game. With a wild shot there obviously going from Faversham. Most of them had a corner and um, it came in Shot from Sam Corn there, but the keeper saving it. Well, now Chesmain getting that, that ball over, and obviously we moved on six minutes into the game. A Canby gets the cross in from the right, and uh, Faversham managed to clear only out as far as um, Salu Khan. The, um, Sam Corn getting out to the wing on Chesmain as he gets the cross over, and um, everyone's missing it there. Um, Justin Amalou's managed to get the cross back in and there's Ibia Canby there managed to get that header past the keeper for Faversham and it makes it 1-0 Maidstone 7 minutes of the game gone Faversham 0 Maidstone 1 so they were Mason kind of playing a lot better there was a Canby again on the attack and he gets the cross and it just hits the uh, Post at the bottom now. It was down with sharp up with another corner. And another Amaluza there hitting the post again. He's going right across the goal line and Faversham managed to clear it. No supporters at all behind the goals. They're all on the side. Don't know it's whether the stand's closed off or not for supporters. At Salters Lane, Faversham Town. So we're like 16 minutes in, it's still Faversham nil, Maidstone 1. Come on, Tackers. So Wilson getting it in for a Camby, and then he just can't get to it, and Doherty there. With safe hands there for Faversham Town in goal. Faversham getting that equaliser just over 16 minutes into the game now. Naylor equalising. So it's Faversham 1, Maidstone 1. And then obviously Dan Wishart after 19 minutes. Excellent uh, free kick there. Getting that ball straight in there past Doherty. Making it Faversham 1, Maidstone 2. Cracking goal that one.
so hopefully Maidstone can hang on to this lead. So we're 30 minutes into the game. Lewington there to save it again, although the header was straight at the goal. Yeah, may seem to be keeping possession, doing okay. Um, Justin Amaluza on the ball there, getting the cross over to Sam Corn. Arn Wilson and um, Wilson playing amongst themselves there and as there's Amma Loser getting a shot in it's blocked Faversham struggling to clear the ball and it ended up at half time obviously Faversham 1 Maidstone 2 <laughs> well, Zani there for Faversham looked like he'd just gone down on the ground without even being touched, but obviously um, it was given as a free kick. So we moved on with 53 minutes into the game now, with Miller attacking up the wing. Cross over there then to Loins, Burgess. Then they playing the ball backwards towards the halfway line, with Mason obviously Going into the box, trying to get his crossover. Second time he manages to get it over, but there's no one there. And then Dan Wishart shoots just wide. I think things are still looking promising. We haven't lost the game yet. Um, we have two draws. And that win away at Chatham Town. And this one at the moment, we're 56 minutes in. 2-1 um, up as well. We're now 82 minutes in. It's a free kick taken by Ella Kobe. And um, Doherty just managed to save it now, just before it went over. Yeah, it's kind of been pleased with the way things are going. Um, I'm still trying to look to get uh, another defence centre midfielder in um, to cover for Tom Elshi. and a shot catching the post then for Maidstone but that was the goal that was um, disallowed for some sort of infringement um, it could have been Maidstone 1-3 over Faversham but that was disallowed in the end so we've come to the, it's the final score there Faversham 1, Maidstone United 2 in that game so we're getting another win. Saturday's game in the afternoon, three o'clock kickoff. Attendance six hundred and seventy-five there at the Gallagher Stadium, with only six away supporters there, cheering on um, their club Arras. Well, here's the highlights of the game there at the Gallagher Stadium. With Maidstone United at home to Arras. So the penalty obviously there coming up for Arras, that was in the first quarter of an hour. Ndiaye taking it and it's a great save there by Chris Lewington to stop Arras taking a 1-0 lead. Still putting the pressure on though, quarter of an hour in, corner by step. The Maidstone managing to clear it way up the field beyond halfway line. So just before half time, Mason have a corner with Lewis Knight there hitting the crossbar. Who can't get that great cross um, out to Ify Allen on the wing and pulling it back to Gavin Hoyt, who played it upfield but gave it away to Arras and then gets the ball back again. And Ify Allen there managing to get the ball over, and it's a great header. Dan Wishart getting that goal. Just before half time there, making it Maidstone 1, Arras 0. Great time to get a goal. Gavin Hoyt with the corner. And it's um, Anna Frani 
own goal for Arras. That's 62 minutes into the game there. It's Maidstone 2 Arras nil with that own goal. Maidstone out on the break then with Justin Amaluza. Yeah, pretty impressed, obviously, the way the team are playing. Um, that'd be two, two wins in a row, obviously, if we can carry on and win this one. Lewis McNall offside there, taking that shot. And, um, yeah, final score, Maidstone 2, Arras 0. So yeah, happy with that one. So yeah, pretty happy with that one. So yeah, we did pretty good. And we shot getting into a seven. No, I chose main seven point one rating. Uh, Chris Lewington has seven point one, obviously with that penalty save as well, right near the beginning of the game. And then Gavin Hoyt with a seven point two. Yeah, impressive. And uh, the first home game of the season. Um, we've got some other games coming up. On the next episode, one of which I think will be Watford United at home. Um, then Swansea under 23s and we also have a game at home with uh, Celtic from the Scottish Premier Division. So looking forward to catching up with you then. Looking forward to episode 3. We'll catch you then. Peace out.